Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Up The Guts podcast. Joining you, as always, is your host, Tricky, and my co-host, Will. How are we, mate? Big break, but we're back. It was a big break, but yeah, we're back. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, How are you, live, mate? Live you the energy a bit, you, mate. You good? On. Yeah, I'm you good. Good, 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 good. Obviously, last episode we did was Checkers. How did you enjoy on the Checkers chat? So it's had some good feedback on that. How, have you, how did you enjoy it? I loved it. He was a good bloke. Um, good, good to get a bit of insight into some of the background of the stuff he does. Um, but yeah, it was good. Even and though I was running off about an hour of sleep. How'd you like the little room we got? That was a good, good yeah. little studio. I yeah. did like it. And you've just got back from Bali. How was it, mate? Bali was very good. Yep. I'm a big fan of Bali. Any um, places you'd recommend going or some highlights from the trip, mate? A um, couple of highlights when Jets did the jet skis. That was pretty cool. Ended or, up in hospital. Almost. I did end up in hospital. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fill us in. What's happened there? Uh, so I went to Mississippi and if... You don't know it's what United, Mississippi it's is. United States, isn't it? Yep. Uh, Peter. <laughs> um, yeah, they've got a big, like, five-meter diving platform. And uh, I went up there once and I was completely fine. And I've gone, oh, I'm going to do a cannonball off the top of this fucking thing. And I uh, did the cannonball and when I hit the water, I fucked my left ear. So, yeah. No good. I had to go to the hospital the next day. Leaking a bit of blood, mate. How long were, how long were you in there for? In where? The hospital. Oh, not long. About an hour. Oh, yeah. Got a got some meds, got an injection. They sent me on my way. Yes, not bad. And obviously, you mentioned that, but where some uh, if someone was going to Bali for the first time, was what what would you recommend they have to check out? Uh, fi- depending on what you want to do, but Finns was pretty good. Mm-hmm. The beach club, yep, that was fucking hectic. Yep. Jungle in there, mate. Well, yep. once once the sun sets, it's fucking jungle. Yeah, but um. Now, Finns was good. The jet skis down in Noosa Dua were good down at the little island. Went snorkeling there as well. Um, yeah, the not some decent markets in Seminyak and Kuta there. Mm-hmm. Um, going down to the beach as well to have a drink at sunset. Yep, Dr- drinks are cheap as fuck over there. So. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you came back and went straight into the Cranny Cup. Yeah. Now we went to the Cranny Cup on the weekend. Good, good afternoon. It was a good, good day, to be honest. Bit of uh, weather mixtures, though. One, day, one minute it's raining, next minute it's sunny, and we all got sunburned. Yeah, I didn't get sunburned, or, th- like, didn't get, barely got sunburned in Bali. Oh, yeah. yeah and then, a- no, and then come home and first day Cranny Cup, get fucking burnt to a crisp. Yeah, it was no good. But um, what was, how did you think the Cranny Cup ran and, like, the amount of people that turned up? It surprised? was good. I didn't think there was going to be that many people towards the end. Mm-hmm. Um, nah, good day. It was a good day. Cool. The track looked really good. Uh, you, a couple of the fights broke out. Jesus, people yeah, can't handle the alcohol, can they? Nah, how many fights were there? Three? I think there was three, yeah. Fuck. And oh, then, well, what can you expect? Then Joel Fletcher and Havana Brown to finish the show. That was good. Yeah. That was really good in this shed. Yeah, it was. They should do that more often. Yeah, it was like a little session there. Everyone's getting in the mosh pit. It was insane. Yeah, it was good. Joel Fletcher was particularly good. Mm-hmm. I rated his music. Yep. Now, also going into it, before we get on to the big one, obviously it's been a couple of weeks since that happened, but it was also the AFL draft. Was the draft. Was there any surprise picks? And obviously, are you happy with um, your club's pick? Um, first pick you picked up was Nick Watson, former guest of the show, pick number five. How, are you happy with that pick? Yeah, very happy with that pick. We, we've, our forward line's taking some good shape, I feel like, yep. now. And who else did you guys pick up as well? We got Culture Deer, Father Son, Will McCabe, Father Son, and Bodie Ryan. And then we re-picked up Wingard and Cooper Stevens. Yes, yes, because they they were always going to be re-picked up, weren't they? Yeah, Wingard was a definite. Stevens was. Stevens a, was. I'm pretty sure they said. Yeah, they made that commitment. Yeah, I'm just pulling up. You happy with your picks, mate? Harry. Yes, I'm. Just, yeah, Harry and uh, CJ's brother. Was CJ's called? brother um, it was. What's his name? I'm pulling, just pulling up the actual picks now. Round two. Where is Collingwood? Two, yeah, two GF. Um, yeah. Uh, see the video of him on the Collingwood um social media page too, with how they'll celebrate in the family because they're all Collingwood supporters. Yeah, unreal. That's gonna that's gonna be funny when um Hawks play Collingwood now because CJ's just gonna be by himself, and then all the family's gonna be in the Collingwood gear. Yep, and Harley Reid, obviously after two years really of people hyping him up and saying, "Is he going to West Coast? He's not West Coast." End up taking Harley Reid with the pick one. Mm-hmm. Do you think that they lost out a bit in the draft? No. So you reckon and their one the no- pick of Harley Reid is good? Good yeah, enough yeah, to yeah. change change their team? Yeah, and then number two was uh, North. We'll just go for the first round. All right. Number two, uh, Col- Colby McKercher went to North Melbourne midfielder from Tasmania. And number three... 
Gold Coast Academy, uh, Jed Walter, they've got they've done real well there. It was uh, they matched North Melbourne's bid, so North Melbourne originally wanted them, and then North Melbourne ended up going with Zane Dersma with pick four, and you you got big rats on Dersma. Pretty standard stuff. Like that's the top five is I'm pretty sure exactly how it was predicted. Yeah. Uh, one person that probably slid down a little bit was Daniel Curtin going number eight to the Adelaide yeah, Crows. Yeah, I'm surprised he went to the Crows. Mm, where, where were you expecting him? I was him expecting him to go a little higher up, maybe to Essendon. Oh, not Essendon, um, Bulldogs mm-hmm. or somewhere like that. Yeah. I don't uh, think he'd go that far down. Yeah, was there any other uh, key ones that you thought? How was, um actually, the number 12 pick who went to the Jerry West Giants, uh, Phoenix Goffard? Didn't even rock up in a club polo. He was there supporting Connor O'Sullivan. Yeah, Connor O'Sullivan, yeah. And then... It was just like... Did you see the reaction from O'Sullivan as well when he yeah, got picked? Yeah, he jumped up. Yeah. Ran away from just chatting to Joel Selwood to... Yeah. <laughs> get, get a spell, Joel. To go um, celebrate with his mate. No, nah, it was good to see uh, that he wasn't expecting to be drafted like uh, on the first night and then that sort of happening. My biggest slider in the draft, I think, Ari Shawmaker, who went to St Kilda for like pick 50-something from Tasmania. Where were you expecting him to go? At least for At least second round. I didn't think he'd slide to pick 50. Wait. Pick, oh, yeah, pick 50. Pick 54 or something. Who'd he go to? St. Kilda. Um, He's the bloke who kicked it from, like, full back into the, sen- like the centre circle. I'm trying to see. Pick 50 Saints when Hugo Garcia. Hang on a second. Don't tell me I fucked this up. Yeah, you know, you... Unless it wasn't even in the national. Nah, give me a spell. Bodie Ryan, spell. pick 46. Haw- Wait, who'd he go to? Hawks? No, he went to... St. Kilda, sorry. Pick 62, 62. sorry. Yeah, pick 62. I, yeah. Knew he, I knew he slid. Yeah, we were expecting him to go early second, were you? Yeah. Yeah, being 192 centimetres. Now, the big thing that happened while you were away, obviously, there's not a lot we can touch on at the moment. We were breaking the pretty much a break in the cricket, which we'll touch on the World Cup, though. Be more to talk about when the Big Bash IPL and all the series start. Um, but... You got the witness. Uh, the, I didn't stay up for it, but I saw you stayed up yeah, for the World Cup final. Because the time with Bali's three hours, three hours behind. behind. That, the atmosphere in that par, bar was unreal. Yeah. It was so good. So we'll go for the game as well. India won the toss and elected a bowl. We ended um, Australia won the toss and elected a bowl, which was a bold move by the Aussies. Yeah, I didn't mind it, to be honest. Because yep. at least they knew what they were chasing, yep. sort of thing. So, But... And uh, we ended up bowling India out for 240. Uh, Rahul, um, Rahul top scored for the Indians with 66. And Virat Kohli um, was next with 54. Mitchell Stark took three for 55. While Pat Cummins and Josh Hazelwood also took two each. We chased it down four down. And I thought we were in some big trouble at some point. We ended up chasing it down to win by six wickets. Travis Head, though. 137 from 120. How good is this man's form been? And, and, and his and after catch. and the after party form. Did you, have you see, did you see the catch? Yeah, and the after party form. Yeah, uh, he's still going apparently. Yeah, um, and he's supposed to play a big bash game. Yeah, and uh, Marnus Lovachang also got 58 not out. But I remember I fell asleep, and I reckon I woke up, and we were about four for thirty, or four for four, or was three, it, or three, it, or three. I think it was three far, th- three, not four far. It was three for not much, and I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. And I fell back to sleep. Then I woke back up because I just left the TV on. And I was like, I woke back up to us grabbing around each other. I'm like, no, we haven't, have we? Yeah. And I pull up scores and my show his head. Oh. It was so good. But um, what was, what was, did everyone, how many were in that bar? Oh, mate, hang on, have a look at the video. Hang on. It was packed. Um, it, a few people died off because I think their missus pulled them out of the bar. But that was just, that's like the winning runs. Yep. So, and then here, I'll pan around in a sec. Scenes. Scenes yeah. in the bar. It was it was unreal. So what time would have it been over there at that point, roughly? It would have been, what, about 12? Yeah, just before, I think. Yep. Because, yeah, I got back to the hotel at about 12, you, almost one. Is that why you were there, just planning on there for a drink, or you were planning there to watch the cricket? Well, I was there with one of my mates that I went with, and then his girlfriend came back and wanted to go home, which is fair enough. So mm-hmm. then... They left uh, at about oh ten ish, yep. and then I stayed and watched the rest of it by mm. myself. Yeah, but how how good? Like it was no, nah, it was fucking elite. It was good to watch. Um, I uh, I thought we were in trouble though early. Yep. Um, I was almost going to leave, but 
Glad I didn't, and I got pretty pissed. So. Yeah, to wrap up the tournament, it was play, player of the match obviously went to Travis Head, and that's our sixth World Cup win we have won in total. Our player of the tournament was Virat Kohli. Leading run scorer, Virat Kohli, with 765 runs. Highest score was Glenn Maxwell with 201 not out. Who can forget that innings? And most wickets was Muhammad Shami, who took 24. And best figures was Muhammad Shami, who took a 7 for. Far out. That's yeah. pretty good. So, yeah, that was just um, really amazing. Um, what else is there to discuss? Got one for you. What? One of the Aussie uh, boys over in the States. Found himself in a bit of... Oh, no, nah, th- that's been dropped, I'm pretty sure. They've allowed him to play, but they're still investigating. Yeah, no, nah, so th- I, I, I saw an article. What do we think of it? Have you seen some of the, the memes going around? I've seen some of the memes go around, but I saw an article today, whether it's true or not, that police uh, have dropped the investigation because um, it happened when he was 19 and she was 17. Did you see the video of her in, the, in a club with him? Yeah, but... They were saying people, like, if you've got the name, they, they'll let you in no matter what, like, if you know what I mean. If you have a name or a presence, security yeah, guys, right, especially but especially being a girl too. But, like, Who, I don't know. Like, bit illegal but, but it was if, just, it's, if it's underage. But like, it, was, it was just interesting when I saw that um, Josh Giddy, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, it's the last thing we uh, probably need. I reckon he's fine. I yeah. reckon, I don't reckon he'd... Um, I'm pretty sure he was 19 and she mm. was 17. I'm pretty sure he was completely legal. But didn't look good. Didn't no, look good to start with. No. But, um, no, nah, I reckon he's fine. I've read a few articles saying that he's fine, so. Well, what else has been going on in your world, mate? Formula One finished last night. Yep. Um, Max Verstappen absolutely Sorry, guys, about in. this. We probably just put this together shit last minute because we're two weeks. Have a look. Have a look. Oh, I can't even find it. And the V8 Supercars was also on the weekend? Yeah, I didn't watch that. Yeah, Max Verstappen won the Formula One, smashed it in. Um, Volk's fighting in Feb, Volkanovski. Mm-hmm. Came for that. Any uh, WWE fans here? CM Punk made a big return <laughs> in Chicago. Didn't someone else make a return as well? Yeah, Randy Orton. That's right. Yeah. TikTok, my TikTok was blowing up over that, but I was just like, nah, this can't be happening. Yeah, fuck. Like, I watch it here and there now, but like, I used to be a big fan when I was a kid. And seeing Sam Punk return, I was like, oh. "You gonna tell you gonna tell the people about your blow, blow up on Saturday? Which one? You know when you, you backed that winner, remember? No, it looked bloody you good. Backed, life. You it backed lo- that winner. It looked good. Did it not look good live? It looked good live, but fuck, it was funny afterwards. Oh, so anyways, I'd back the winner in the previous race, and I'd go on. If you need tips the rest of the day, just let me know. So then I've gone in. And this ba- is after you've run, I reckon, a good. 10 metres going, no, this, this, yes! no, this, this, this was not even the race I'm talking about. The race prior, no, I won two. Oh, yeah, you I was did. going two from oh, two. Yeah, you were going two from two. And then eight, it was paying 8.50. Backed it in. Big celebration. I was like, I've got it. And Will's like, nah, this bloke can't have got two from two. This can't be happening. I'm like, it's happening. Going back to our table. Need tips. Come with me. Let me know. Let yeah, me know. Next man. minute we're here. It's photo finish on the line. I'm gone. Nah, it just can't be. And then it's come second. Yeah, by fuck all two. Like, not much. There was actually two close photo finishes. Yeah, well. the next race was. The next race was because I, I had the winner. Yeah, we had the winner in that. And I was sitting there. I was, I was grabbing some food. And then I was watching on the screen. I'm like, no, I cannot lose two photo finishes in a row. That's right. Because that's what, didn't you go, oh, you're due for one? Yeah. Was that that yeah. race? Yeah. Well, you were due for one because the one before that when Jaden said you are due for one, it ran last, didn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it's still running, actually. <laughs> I think it's still running. If you oh. go down to the Cranbourne Turf Club, it's probably still running there. Um, I don't know how that, that... I don't even think the jockey whipped it. So um, I think something happened with the horse, to be honest. Did you say um, Western Bulldogs have signed uh, Lockie Bramble? Yeah. Did, did we delist him? Yeah. That's right. Delisted Hawk, pre-season supplementary period. Uh, just trying to see what else. Fair um, enough. Good to see him get a second chance. Yeah, did you did you rate him? Um, I don't think I, I don't think he played enough footy to really rate. He yep. had a couple of good games, but nothing nothing to write home about. Mm. Um, I don't think he was given much of a chance, though. To be honest, yep, we had a pretty consistent backline for most of the year. Yep, I mean, I'm very excited to see for footy next season. Yep, being a Hawks fan, our forward line's looking really good. Do oh you think Nick Watson starts round one? Yeah, 
I reckon. You reckon? I reckon he could. He's a big chance. He's a very big chance. Do you? Yeah, maybe. Just trying to think. Who have we? Bruce, Dylan Moore, Ginevan. You probably nearly play him over Ginevan. That's a fucking massive call. That is a big call, but you That's a big call. That's a that's a big call, but you probably nearly would. You'd probably play them together. I, I'd say he plays. So who who are you kicking out? You play the f- those four. Yeah, but then you've got players like Connor McDonald. Plays more mid. Plays on a wing. So who plays more who, mid. So who who's his spot? I heard I heard we're actually going to trial CJ on the wing. Yeah, if he can get his body right, he'll be right. <laughs> Touch wood. I think that, and then I'm like, oh, he's back. Yeah, then, then he goes down again. Yeah, true. What did he do last year? Hamstring, and then I think he ACL? as he was coming back, he did his groin. Didn't he do an ACL? No, I don't think. He did did he, I thought he did something significant. I don't think it was an ACL. Oh, well, You'd thought, know if it was an ACL. Yeah, I thought he did. I, I thought he did something significant. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> All I know is he didn't play last year, pretty much the mm-hmm. whole year. Yep. Do you reckon Pies will go back to back? I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say yes. So what you're saying is you'll say you'll yeah, say. Well, it, don't most people who bag for a team that's just won a flag always go, yeah, back to back? But not I'm necessarily. Not, most teams do. Most teams. Oh, we're building a dynasty here. We're building a dynasty here. Who have you brought in? Uh, brought Schultz. Yep. Good good, good one. Uh, Schultz. Who else we brought? Also, the t- draftees. Yeah, yeah. So, what you got? Schultz, Harry, uh, Jath. Uh, Did sorry? you pick anyone up in the rookie draft? No, I don't know. I feel like we picked. We got someone else as well. Did you re-pick someone else up? Um, not that I'm aware of. Emerson Jacker got picked up by Geelong. Yeah, I saw that. What do you think of that? Dominated uh, VFL footy for years, but didn't didn't didn't, didn't really crack in. Oh, yeah. he was injured though. He was injured. Yeah. So. Stiff. So it just goes to show um, how injuries can sort of fuck you up in a, in a way. Yeah. Because if you say, say you're like young and mm-hmm. you get injured for two seasons and yeah. then someone like who doesn't get injured just plays really fucking well, you can't get your spot back, can you? Yeah. Or it's really hard to. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. Watched a really good movie actually last night. <laughs> I've watched, no, I've watched a couple, I watched a couple last night and I was like, I've watched this a couple of times. It's always a good one. It came up just on Netflix. Never back down. You seen that movie? No. Oh, you'd be all over. It's pretty much um, mixed martial arts but street fighting. Oh, really? Yeah. What's it about? Um, this kid, he's uh, a good footballer. His dad passes away. Yep. And then he goes through like just like a patch of where he's just getting into fights everywhere. Yep. He moves schools because his brother's an upcoming tennis player, and then that school is obsessed with mixed martial arts for some reason, um, and they just have street fighting. Yep. He gets set up at a party, uh, gets beat up, and then goes and trains with mixed martial arts, and it's a whole like street fighting competition at the end of it, like a tournament. Oh, mad! So it's like Karate Kid, kind of. Yeah, but you know, that's a very similar storyline. It's to very similar. It's very similar. Very similar. But no, nah, it's a great movie. Great movie. I'll have to watch it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got you got a a nice new shiny piece of equipment. Do you want to do want to tell the people about? Oh, it? I just got a new car today. What car is it? I got a Subaru Liberty GT. Does it go fast? Oh, you haven't driven it yet. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've driven it. I drove it before. I oh, it. true, true. I test drove it before. Does it go I've fast? Got... Yeah, it goes decently. Yeah. I have to have a drag. <laughs> I have to have a drag race. Oh god! But what else have you got coming up? Oh, I've actually got a story from Bali. You'll like this. Did oh. I tell you I got I got um got hit in Bali by someone? Yeah, by by. Why well, am I not shocked? Anyways. Oh, okay. Okay. It was during the day too. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so got my first tattoo. Mm-hmm. Went to lunch and I'm sitting at lunch and I look over at like, you know how they've got like little markets and stuff. And I saw this, um, these two jerseys. One yep. of them was a, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, Memphis Grizzly one. And yep. then like a North Carolina Jordan one. Mm-hmm. You know, I've walked over. I'm like, oh, how much? He goes, 190. I'm like, Australian for two. And I'm like, that's fucking, that is distortion. Yeah. That's robbery. And I'm like, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I'll give you like 15 bucks for each of them. So mm-hmm. like 30 in total. Yeah. Because they were nothing special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he looked at me, he's like, oh. And then he hit me with like the shirt. Mm-hmm. And I thought he was like doing it as like a joke. And yep. then I look up 
And you just should have seen the anger in this guy's face. And then he fucking cocks back. Whack. Whack. Anyway, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I walk out because I was with my sister. Anyway, we book a car. And we're coming back. Like walking back down to the car, which was stopped literally right out front of his stall. And he's like, oh, come here, boy. A- anyway, he picked up like a wooden fucking stake thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's like, come here, boy. And I'm like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Anyway, <laughs> and he's fucking talking. And then he started talking to our, like, Uber driver, asking, like, where we're staying, what our name <laughs> name is and shit. And I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. I'm going to die in Bali. But, yeah, that's my, that's, that's my little story of how I got, like, mildly assaulted in Bali. What the Uber guy say? Oh, can't be telling you that. Well, well I d- they were talking in Indonesian. I couldn't oh, understand. Okay, yeah. And then that was a very, <laughs> jeez. I don't know about that accent, mate. Oh, oh well. She'll be right. She'll be right. Might have to edit that one out. Nah, she'll be right. <laughs> she'll but, be um, right. Nah, and then the driver was like driving. We were in silence and shit. And then he goes, what happened? <laughs> I'm like, wow, well, I was just trying to buy me a jersey. And he's offering me like, asking for 190 bucks. Mm-hmm. And then it, I'm like, then he started hitting me. And the guy's like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, oh, fuck. And then it's that bad that I went down to the beach and I told, like, um, the guy we, like, go, whose bar is on the beach. Yeah. And even he goes, that's bullshit. Yeah. Like, but he was literally, like, you were getting fucking ripped off. Mm. He's like, you, you actually gave him, like, a decent price. I don't know. He must have just been having a bad day. Mm. You been to Bali? No, I've never been to Bali. Oh, I've you only, go, mate. I've only uh, been to Thailand. You got to go to Bali, mate. You'll like it. You reckon? Fuck yeah. Well, you don't think you'll be a fan? Oh, I don't know. I've been to Thailand and enjoyed Thailand, so... It's similar. They're, I've heard they're similar, yeah. Yeah. Apparently people like Bali more. Probably gets closer too. Yeah, how, well, how far's the flight to Thailand? Do eight. you remember? About eight. <coughs> oh, flight to Bali's like six and a bit there and then five back. Yeah, about, oh, about eight-ish it is. What, do you want to do some blind rankings? Of what? Sports athletes. All right, done. All right, I'll get this going. First one, next time we'll do that. Um, Out of five? Yeah, we'll do, do you want to do the um, game you said last time where we um, guess each other's, what each other's, uh, remember that one you suggested? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, uh, we guess um, each other's like, I don't know, how many siblings do I have and you're guessing for each other? Oh, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, nah, you got to have pen and paper for that, mate. All right, so, okay. Blind ranking time. Sports athletes. All right. Mike Tyson. I'll go, I'll go three. Okay. LeBron James. I'm going to go one. Okay. Michael Jordan. Four. Um, <laughs> so he's going to ruffle some fergu- uh, feathers. Feathers there. Sachin Tenduka. Two. Ooh. Wait. Yeah, yeah. So I've got LeBron, one. Tenduka, two. Tyson, three. Jordan, four. So this is this is last. Usain Bolt. Last. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with that? I oh, probably would have changed it around a bit, but... <laughs> I'm happy with Jordan. Sorry, I'm happy with James one. Yep. Who did I have two? Tendulkar. Tendulkar. I'd probably put Jordan on top of Tyson. No, nah, Tyson two, Jordan three. You, you've got two people from the same sport in there. So yeah. like I, no, I, I, I personally, I, I personally think LeBron James is better than. Mike I was trying to throw you off there. I was, I was like, I hope he puts him at one, and then I'll just put, um, put Jordan in there. So then I'll. No, be like, I, oh. I think LeBron's better than Jordan. Controversial, but I think he's better than Jordan. <laughs> All right, got give me, give me five. And we can change the topic too if you want. Oh. After this, we can do another one if you want. Oh, like. you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll, I'll get you to blind rank. Mm-hmm. I'll give you five AFL like grand final years, like of winning winning teams. Okay. They'll be like somewhat recent. All right. 2016 Bulldogs. Are we talking about the game or? Just the team, the year. Like so, we we talking about the overall game, yes. pretty much the game. Okay, I'll go three. Two thousand and seventeen Tigers. 
2017 Tigers. Well, they ended up running away a bit, a fair bit, but they did break the drought. So I'm going to go two. And it's, it was the start of their dynasty, pretty much. 2022 Cats. Well, they ended up smashing them, so I'm going to put them in five. 2014 Hawks. Is that against Freo? That was, was against Sydney. 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 Uh, how much did you get up by that one? Uh, 40 something. Yeah, I'm going to go four. 2009 Cats. Yeah, that's one. That is a ripping grand <laughs> final. That isn't actually a rip. I'm actually not mad with that list. Uh, you're happy? You, you'd put yeah. them all in the same spot? I think, what would I have? Geelong, Geelong Saints. Then I had Richmond first one of their three. Yep. Then I had Bulldogs um, 2016. Yep. Then I had... I think you had Hawks. What'd Hawks you and then, then Ge- Geelong. Geelong. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy, happy with that. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Is there another topic that you can want to do? Not really. Not really. Uh, why that, mate? I'm just trying to think. It's such a dead, like, time for sport. Yeah. Like, or, or even the NBA is a bit dead get, Should we get the uh, the TikTok comments all wound up again and do some Would You Rather? Oh, fuck <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, we should. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. What, what topic do you want me to search? Should, should I Would You Rather's or... Just is search, it? yeah, Would You Rather's. I love this. This is good. Just wheeling them in. All right, would you rather? Okay, I'm gonna click on a different one though. No, not. For so you don't want to? You don't want to talk about the price of drinks or anything? Trick. That got us a bit. Of, that got us a bit. A bit of clout. Got a comment from that from the, the Cranny Cup too. You got a comment about that? Yeah. Oh, well, oh, someone came up to you about it. Yeah, but, but I just said, yeah, no, it's a good one, mate. It's a piss off. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We got so much backlash. Okay. Over I don't talking know how, about I don't the know price how of I a drink. To, I don't know how you go to the next one though. Uh, Come on, mate. No, I found it, but I don't know how you... Oh, no, you just selected. Okay. First one. Live in a world without internet or live in a world without music? Oh, it's tough. But... Oh, no. And no, you can't search music while on the internet. Even Can you, it. like, listen to music through movies? Like, will there be music no, in movies? So listen. there's just no music. There's just no music. There's just none. Fuck, that's actually a hard one because I, I, I'm a big music person. Yeah. Oh. Love these Spice Girls. I don't mind these Spice Girls, actually. <laughs> oh, speaking, 100%. Speaking of... Fuck, <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. 100%. Um, no, nah, I'd probably go no music. No music? Yeah, I'll keep the internet. Did you you listen to the Roy's new a, album? It actually tells you um the percentage of oh, what really? they chose. 40, 51% went well, after that music, 49 went without internet. Yeah, Laurie's album... Uh, do you think of it? Did you like it? Oh, I think it's pretty good. It's a I think there's a few a few songs that he missed on, but there's a, uh, I reckon there's a few good ones in there. All right, I'll do you. Um, I'll do you can do this one and then read me out the next one as well, if that makes sense. So, so, so I don't uh, know the uh, answer. Uh, uh, I'll read this one because I've already seen it. Right. Then put your phone down. Yeah. Would you rather play? Don't do five or ten of these. I don't mind, mate. Well, would you rather play a small part in a good movie? Yep. Or play the main part in a terrible movie. I think that's pretty straightforward. I play the small part in a good movie. Yeah, so would I. Because let's see how many. Although you get you get yep. paid pretty good. I reckon. All right, you get paid. Pretty that's good. true. So done. I just click. Yeah. Um, would you rather mm-hmm. be stranded in North Korea for fifty years, oh, Jesus. or spend fifty years uh, in a Russian prison? Ah, uh, North Korea. Yeah, because at least you can you got a chance to escape. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, so we do two because you yeah, did. Um, you did two, so I do two. It just changes. Yeah, automatic. most people said North Korea, sixty-two to thirty-eight percent. Lovely. What the fuck is what? What? No, we're not doing. Just click one and then. Just, yeah. yeah. Would you all? Would you rather always? Fucking hell! Would you always rather have a runny, stuffy nose or always have a mild, dry cough? I'm taking the cough. I'm personally. taking the cough too because I, the, the runny nose is just disgusting. Just a fucking pain in the ass too. Yeah. Yeah. It, a lot, of, a lot of people said that. At 65%. Okay. Would you rather us? So we'll do six more. And then we'll probably call it one. And then we're actually... Let us know in the comments what guests you want as well. Because we're going to start getting more guests after the success of the Checkers one. And how much we thoroughly enjoyed that. Checkers so, was good. I will, he was. We'll get Shrey on next. Try. Would you rather fail every class in school, but everyone is proud and happy for you? Or pass every class in school, but everyone hates slash envies you. 
pass. Do you wouldn't care if people hate you? No. People you, hate you, you me got, now. You got no <laughs> people hate me now. I don't care. Uh, what's the I mean? Fifty-seven percent said what you said. Well, at the end of the day, you've part, you've got more of a. Oh, this one's shocking. I'm skipping. There are some. so there are a few shit ones in I'm there. I'm just skipping that one. Just oh, would you rather be any bird or be any object? That's just shocking. <laughs> <laughs> this one's this one's shocking too. I'm just skipping this one. Be married forever or be single forever. That's just shocking. Aren't people married for kind of married for it? Forever oh, anyway. okay, here we go. This is a good one, okay? All right. Would you rather only eat burnt food or always bite your tongue when you eat? How hard do I have to bite this fucking tongue? Like, am I... Am I you're giving it a good go. In yeah. pain? Yeah, you know, you know how you always get... Drawing your, blood? Yeah, a little bit of blood. Oh, fuck. Um, Some might say a bit more extra flavour. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. That's a... Oh, I'll probably bite my tongue. All right. There you go. Bite Click. Let's have a look. How many people said that? 55%. But, but All right, we got some th- some foods just get destroyed, burnt. We'll do two more each. No good? No good? I feel like... No, nah, yeah, no good. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have a set out path in life? Or have a life full of complete unknowns. I th- think set out. All right, set out. Forty-seven and fifty-three said unknown. Pretty even. But then, because if it's set out, you get to choose what you want. Pretty much. You know what I mean? You set it out, and how are you going to do it? True. And it just comes off. Would you rather have your house infested with rats or house infested with snakes? Oh, that, that's that's a terrible question. I don't I want, know. That's I don't, a terrible question. I don't want either. But I, I tell you what, snakes can get fucked. I hate snakes. Uh, oh, oh, but I hate rats too. Get, oh. Snakes can get fucked. Oh. oh, but I can take a snake on. You had it here first. <laughs> There's no way you're. T- I'm sorry. You can take your phone back. You are not yeah, taking uh, a snake oi, on. If a snake wants to call me out, I'll I'll, I'll take it on and I'll I'll sort it out. Don't what you snake worry. are we talking? What you think you can? I'll sort the snake out. You reckon you can beat uh, like a tiger snake in a fight? Oh, that, that didn't specify what snake it was. Oh, fuck! Come on, mate. You said a snake, so uh, I'm assuming. But I, don't, I, I just hate rats. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And snakes, snakes don't. Snakes aren't going to eat my food, are they? No, but they'll fucking eat you. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Yeah. You're not seeing these, these these little bad boys here. I'll sort it out. But I, yeah, I think I'm going to go. <laughs> you are not fucking <laughs> fighting snakes. I'm sorry. That's just, that's fucking Okay. Cool. Would you rather, last two, be in your favourite video game mm-hmm. or be in your favourite TV show? Favourite TV show. In which is? Oh, you can't say favorite TV show. No, nah, but know I what have a couple. Not, not know what it is. Well, what other couple? Are we talking proper TV show, or are we talking it just says, any TV show? It says favorite show. Because my favorite show, like of all time, is Family Guy. <laughs> so, like, I'd just be a voice actor on it, wouldn't I? <laughs> or no, have I got my own got character be, in there. Oh no, it does say be on your favorite show. So I'd be voicing my own character. Yeah, technically you can. So make yeah, that. I'd probably be Family Guy. Grow up. Grow up. Good show though. Grow up. Have you? Have you? Uh, have uh, you Forty-seven percent said you. Fifty-three video game. What's up? Well, what would you choose? Uh, oh, I'd probably say TV show. Yeah. What's your favorite TV show though? <laughs> like you said, got a couple. Um, at the moment, or like recently that I just binge would have to be uh, Power. Never heard of it. Get onto it. What is it? Drive straight, drug dealing and shit. Ah. Uh, Fifty Cent wrote it. Great show. Right. It's like it was number one in box office and all that. It's on stand. There you go. Great, great, great show. Last one. I <laughs> <laughs> was going to say that <laughs> didn't. That didn't. Always that consciously anything. breathe or always consciously blink. I'll fucking take the breathing. What are you talking? <sighs> I skipped it. <laughs> That's a fucking terrible question. I know what you're going to answer is. But S- this is, this, this is slow going, news day, by the this way, is, guys. This is going to. 
Describe the type of person you are. And I oh, think I know the answer. Here we go. <laughs> Be forever happy, but someone else is depressed. Or be forever depressed, but someone else you love is happy. Oh, so hang on. The first part, you didn't mention the love part. Is it someone you love? Yeah. Let me read the question. <laughs> hang on. No, no. Be, be forever depressed, but someone else is, is happy. Is it someone else or someone you love? Someone else. Well, regardless if I'm happy, someone else in this world is going to be depressed. Yeah. So I'm probably going to go with that one. See, you're just a shit bloke. Okay. Well, because you're going to choose the other one. Yeah, I? I am actually. Okay. But if so I, you're going to be forever happy with someone. Well, I, if I am forever happy, someone in this world will be depressed. As sad as that is, that's just reality. No, that's, that's just wrong. You're just an average bloke. So, yeah, well, I do, I do hold the but same. Do you know what the, the sad worst, thing is? Um, 80% said your answer. Rational people. <laughs> Rational people. Well, and I think they'll just about do it. Yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to touch on? Not really. Big Bash starts, is it tonight or tomorrow? Good question. It is very soon, and Steve Smith has confirmed he's available for the first match. I was going to say, have you seen the Renegades lineup? No, I have not. Gary Lyon, Peter Siddle, Fraser McGurk, Aaron Finch. Big Bash. Zampa. Big Bash starts... Oh, I'll just go series, actually. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. No, because I thought it was, and it was... um, What do you call it? It was a women's Big Bash I saw just then. BBL. KSC BBL. Seven. You're way off, mate. What? It's not for another till the 7th of December. It's not till, oh, I'm retarded. Not till next Thursday. Oh, there you go. Isn't No, there's a cricket game on soon, isn't there? Yeah, it's, um, there's been Australia, T- T20s been playing Australia, uh, India. Yeah, there's one like... Josh t- English t- made a ton the other day. Good ton too. Uh, today, I think. Because... Um, Travis Head's supposed to play, and they're like, "Oh, I don't, I don't think he's, <laughs> I don't think he's getting up for Wednesday, it." Wednesday, India, Australia. Also oh, tomorrow. Today's Monday. <laughs> that checks yeah, out. And on that note, on that note, I think it's, I think it's time to wrap this up. And as I said, guys, let us know in the comments or via our Instagram who you want to see on the podcast. Uh, we're open to anyone of all types. So until then, make sure you give this a big follow, love, and react like. I meant to say, I butchered that. But yeah, follow, like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you don't miss any episodes or any content coming out. And until next time, see you guys.